In Smash, every character's kit has at least one move that straight up cheats. What, what, you need cleaner air dodge? Oh no. What exactly is a cheater move? You might be thinking it's a character's best move, but you're wrong. See, a cheater move is one that when you see it being used to its potential, you think to yourself, why? Why does Sakurai do this? Why does this exist? What the heck am I supposed to do against this? It's a move that maybe doesn't look like it should work the way it does, or a move that is unexpectedly busted, or one that's just straight up isn't fair. For example, Mario Flood is a move that isn't really that great, but for some recoveries it feels like a move that's just straight up impossible to deal with. So today we're gonna go over every character's biggest cheater move, seeing exactly what makes them busted in their own way. Also keep in mind this is a pretty subjective list, so if you disagree let me know with which ones, but let's keep it civil, yeah? Mario's biggest cheater move has to be the cape. While a lot of you might argue for Flood because haha <laughs> wacky edge guarding, a lot of the times you can just avoid it if you just go low. There's no escaping Mario cape. Oh, wait a minute, that was double jump. Another he will find you and kill you at 10% just because. It also turns projectiles right back, stalls in the air a bit. God, I'm already mad. Yeah, this move cheats. For DK, it's cargo throw free! Even though it's used how it's supposed to, people have gone too far in this game by making it just so annoying off stage. Will you need to tech? Will you have to mash to get out so it doesn't carry you to the depths of hell? Yeah, this move definitely cheats. Link? Hmm... Link... Yeah, I don't know, man. Nothing... Nothing really comes to mind for this one. Yeah, couldn't tell you guys, sorry. For Samus, it's down me for sure. I didn't even have to think about it. Not only does Samus' hurt box become smaller than Pichu, but the bombs are so annoying for edge guarding, ledge strapping... Yeah, no, this move... This move cheats, fellas. Down air. Bro! Why? For Kirby, I'm thinking down air, right? You might think neutral B since it lets you suck at your opponents, but that's not really cheating, you know? Like, down air, though, lasts centuries, and if it touches you once off stage without your jump, it's GG's. The Kirby main say it's bad, but I feel like that's just propaganda to make you think Kirby isn't secretly busted. The fact that I struggle to think of a move that cheats with Fox says a lot about him. All his moves kind of just do what they're supposed to. I guess up B kills you at zero every once in a while, but uh, I don't know, man. Unless you're playing a world of like Nuzlocke, Fox is pretty honest for the most part. His whole ass kid cheats. But probably back air for the sole reason he becomes a pancake after whiffing. Luigi it has to be his down B sh is invincible for the first seven frames in the air. It's like that low-key Luigi move that you forget about in the worst time and it cheats since it gets Luigi out of like everything. For Ness, okay, hot take. Okay, not hot, more like lukewarm take. But yo-yo out ledge. This literally invalidates some recoveries, which is actually kind of hilarious. It's useless against some recoveries, but for those that it works on, it's genuinely tragic, and this move cheats against them. For Falcon, it's definitely side B. You might think I chose this because it gives Falcon a burst option with heavy armor that allows him to start combos for free, and you're right. But it also murders you at zero sometimes, which, yeah, you know, that's <laughs> always fun. For Puff, I'd say Pound. Rest is ridiculous, yeah, but the truly evil moves are the one that combo into rest. Not only that, but it lasts like 10 years for some reason, and it does hella shield damage, and yeah, there's a reason every puff player ever approaches with it. For Peach, her entire kit cheats. Floats a mechanic, so I'm not counting that, so it's definitely turn up. So, so good for edge guarding. Starts up Peach mega combos, which literally kill you, and sometimes gives you a fucking bomb for additional mass destruction. For Bowser, it's side B for sure. Yeah, neutral B cooks you, but side B is a frame 6 command grab that works in the air and murders you if there's a platform in the middle. Absolutely bonkers. For Ice Climbers, it's side B, free. Yo, this feels impossible to punish online. It does crazy shield damage, they can recover with it, it just does a lot of damage. You could probably win a game on Elite Smash using only side B, like this move cheats hard. Sheik doesn't really have cheater moves. Everything just kind of works with her the way it's intended to, and, and that's probably what just makes her too honest for her own good. For Zelda, it has to be Phantom. Neutral B is annoying as sh but Down B is busted, dude. Like, when you have to face that big hollow knight for like a solid five seconds at the ledge while at 100%, while Zelda's free from any commitment and being 10 miles away, yeah, no, this move cheats hard. For Doc, it's Down B. Why does this murder at like 30? I, I don't understand. Doc already kind of sucks, but this move at least makes him scary sometimes. If this were pre-patch, I'd say F-Tail, free. 
But no, that, that move was murdered along the way. His biggest cheater move is probably Thunder. It's hard to land, but it's much stronger than Pikachu's. Actually sends the direction Pichu's facing, which makes it like 10 times easier to use. And combos from up air at like zero. So no, this move kind of cheats hard. For Falco, it's up tail. Oh, let me just spam this move that combos into all my aerials and even itself. For Martha and Lucina, it's up beat. Free. Yeah, it's free. Oh, come on. Invincible in the air for the first couple of frames. It's a combo breaker. Kills out of shield. And people wonder why I spam the sh** out of this move. For Young Link, it's definitely up beat. People might say Arrow, and yeah, it's super annoying and combos with other stuff. Up beat cheats way more. Non-existent end lag, combos into other moves, can be comboed into from other moves. It just feels like shit when you get hit by it in the air too, it just... Nah, this, this move, this move. Ganon kind of sucks and doesn't have cheater moves, but uh, maybe Doria forward smash. Yeah, that shit kills super early and it's really long and it hurts a lot when you get hit by it. So yeah, I'd probably go with this one. For Mewtwo, I'd say fair. See, this character overall has a solid kit, nothing overly cheesy or cheater. Fair is really good, but I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't really say it's strictly cheater, but you know what? Let's roll with it. Oh, for Roy, it's definitely side beef. Why does this move do more damage than limit cross slash? I don't know, man. Maybe Sakurai wants us to suffer. Roy mains will match this move at ledge, and for good reason. It murders at like 60, it's disgusting, and the fact it can combo from jab makes me cry. 25.2% out of shield option. Murders you at zero, cause fuck you. This move cheats hard. Oh my goodness, this character has so many cheater moves. Up B, up smash, the chef. Down smash is probably my take though. The angle it sends you at is ridiculous. It has no end lag and it buries you. So you get two smash attacks for the price of one. Dumb, cheats very hard. For Meta Knight, I say side B. This move technically isn't that good, but the fact you can do this, no, this, this cheats hard. For Pit, it's arrows free. His arrows are so easy to gimp with and they just follow recoveries like crazy. I never knew the extent of it till I fought a Pitman and I just died off stage because I didn't know this move cheated so hard. For Dark Pit, I say side B. For the fact it sends horizontally instead of vertically, like at the ledge, it straight up murders if you're caught off guard. You can cancel it and look really cool, but also, yeah, you look like you're cheating. So this move, yep, cheater, cheater move, fellas. For Zero Suit Samus, it is Flip Kick. Let's move on. For Wario, it is waft. Not much explanation is needed here. There are infinite cheater moves with this character. It's insane. I genuinely cannot pick. Down throw? Grenades? Uh, C4 is pretty busted. Nikita? Down tilt is pretty good too. Maybe up smash? Holy sh**. This character is cracked, dude. Let's um, let's roll with up tilt though. Yeah, this, this move cheats especially hard, I feel. Ike's up B. Not only does it do a lot of damage, but they decided, oh hey, God. you know, what, what if oh you made it just God. kill now? Kills at zero off stage, so you can just do this. And it, yeah, it looks dank as hell, but it's also a bad, naughty cheater move. Pokemon Trainer. Down B. That it's busted, bro. You can switch into a whole other character? What? Okay, fine. For Squirtle, it's side B. Invincible, fast, you can see it coming from a mile away, but you still get hit by it. Ivysaur's up air is destructive. Like, yeah, it works how it intends to, but it's intended to cheat. Charizard up smash is stupid fast, but I feel like back air is cemented as my mind as the ultimate cheater move. Oh yeah, let me just kill a 20 after I back throw you, lol. Diddy Kong, down B, bro. Why this man got a whole ass banana peel? This is literally cheating. Items aren't allowed in competitive play. Lucas is down smash. I can't name many moves that cheat harder at the ledge. Ah, oh, this one's so dumb. But dude, spin dash cheats so hard. Probably his best move. Yeah, but it's invincible for a couple of frames. It's super fast. Combo's in a fair at so many percent. It's, it's not only cheater, it's annoying as hell. For DDD, I say up B. Why does this move feel impossible to punish? It's like these stars, bro. They're so annoying. Not only that, but it absolutely murders you if you get hit by it. It can break shield, has armor, spikes. Yeah, no, this move cheats. Olimar side B, but specifically with this fucker. I hate when Olimar chucks this at you from like a football field away and it still hits, does like 20 damage. It's, it's so annoying to just get off as well. This is literally Cheater the character. Every move cheats once he has aura. This is Rob's little buddy and I hate him. Rob can use it in so many combos and edge guarding. It's so good just for ledge trapping as well. And the worst part is it's so hard to pick up for some reason. So even when your opponent uses it, you can't cheat with it yourself. He robs it all. 
Two Link, I'd say bomb. If this isn't a cheater hitbox, I don't know what is. The fact that also combo isn't a fair at like any percent is just raw cheese too. Oh. For Wolf, it's down smash. The fact they had to nerf it twice and it still cheats shows the extent of this move. For Villager, it's bowling ball. This move cheats hard on its own, right? You know, it's free edge guarding. It kills out like 40%. But also my brother Chris hates it, and I think that's hilarious. And so yeah, definitely a cheater move. For we fit, it's deep breathing. Let's move on. Any move this little fucker uses, yeah, that's a cheater move. Luma's presence is cheating. All, all his smash attacks, they all cheat. Man, Smash 4 was something else, man. Why are they all cheaters? I think dash attack is a little much, man. Combos into everything, crosses up hella nice. This move has it all. Invincible moves are automatically cheater moves, so yeah, these moves are both criminals. Back air slightly more though, since you can use it like all the time. For Pac-Man, it's for sure Hydrant. There's so many setups he has with this move, many of which use unethical water physics that just completely catch people off guard. Pac-Man high key has a bunch of cheater moves, but I think this one just cheats the most for sure. For Robin, it's down smash. Free! Why does this move have more range than like forward smash? It hits you from behind, murder shield? You are not safe around this move. Shield art alone is probably a bigger cheater than every move I mentioned before. And he has four other arts. Yeah, Shulk is something else, man. Ash Mash is busted. I don't know why they made it so good. It's literally unpunishable, super safe, super fast, kills. It's, it's, yeah, it's a cheater move. For Duck Hunt, it has to be the camp. Frame one, annoying as shit, and it's literally the only reason Duck Hunt is decent. You know, the move plays the game for him. He, he cheats. For Ken, it's definitely up B. This move, Sour Spot, just murdered you. It's so dumb. But Ryu's up B isn't as cheater like Ken's, you know? It's like, maybe it's down tilt that's his biggest cheater? I don't know, man. I'm not too educated on the shadows. Sorry, 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 fellas. Sorry, Ryu. Cloud's back air cheats too much. Why is this move so long? It's so safe, so dumb. Yeah, de definitely back air. For Gorin, it's up B. This move is actually impossible at edge guard because everything except their tiny ass head is invincible. And also, this move kills. Yeah, this is like a sleeper cheater move. You know, if Pin were good in this game, I'd choose that. But up B is just like secretly very, very cheating. You know, it's out there, bro. You don't forget it. For Bayonetta, oh, definitely Witch Time. It's not as busted as Smash 4s, but imagine any character with Witch Time. They're automatically a billion times more terrifying. No, Bayo stays cheating. Why does this move do like 30%? It's jab. I, uh, it, it's free ink, hella damage. This move does it all. For Ridley, I say up B. This move feels like it's unedge guardable. It literally is impossible to contest in the air unless you got hella privileged hitbox or a counter. And it also spikes? Huh? Simon's move are all relatively okay. You know, there's nothing that's like unexpectedly cheating. If I had to choose, I'd probably say down B, but it's more annoying than it is a cheater move. For Gero, it's down smash. Let's move on. Isabel fishing rod is not only cheater move, but it's broken in a bad way. It shit doesn't work, and so by nature, it's cheater because no one has any idea what the hell this move's gonna do. The only thing you do know is that it does like 20% and murder so early. <laughs> For Incineroar, it's definitely neutral B. Incredibly toxic, but also dank. Yeah, this move is hilarious half the time. Oh, let's make it super strong and super fast and also partially invincible, cause why not? Patui alone just makes Plant a decent character. This move cheats hard. I have no idea why they made it so good. For Joker, his counter is just ridiculous. You are never safe, ever, unless you're Sephiroth. Without Arsene though, I'd probably say Gun. This move is just too safe for its own good, too busted, it has no reason to cheat this hard. You might think S-Mash cause crits and stuff, but no, come on. Fellas, down B is the cheater, the mechanic. This is not up for discussion when this whole ass down B contains a whole collection of cheater moves. Kaboom is definitely the most outrageous of the down B moves though, it's absolutely insane. The worst thing about Wondering is when you think you're at the right distance to punish it, but nope, you just die. It hits ledge, it's invincible, nah, nah, there's no reason he only has five fellas, this move cheats. Power Geyser, what the f*** is this? Besides the go meter, it's crack shoot. Only character with a backwards B and you don't think it'll get called out? Not on my watch. For Byleth, I say up B. Not only is it baby mode for combos, but if you try and edge guard him, you better be confident you're gonna land it. Ram Ram alone is probably better than Ganon. This move makes me want to cry. Big, big cheater move. For Steve, it's definitely side B. Oh no, it's a projectile. It's gonna hit me. I better shield. Lol, it's actually a command grab. Better start mashing. Oh, you died because you didn't match fast enough. You're already doing it. Managing tasks. Problem solving. 
organizing. For Sephiroth, it's definitely counter. This counter cheats hard, bro. Not only does it murder you if you actually hit it, but if you don't hit it, these little sparkles, oh, Sakurai knew what he was doing, man. Trying to make this character as evil as possible. At this current time, Sephiroth is the last release DLC, and so I'm gonna make my predictions now and tell them what their probably most busted 